Show it up at the gate, and all the people were like, fuck it, come on in. You don't, yeah. Oh, you don't care. Yeah. That's all shit anyway. They, it's not they, like we're going to have a worse life exactly. without these assholes. Exactly. Don't read it. And it's the same. And so it's, it's a repeat. Why? Because all things are repeated because it's the same thing all over and over again. I really just waited for the first time. Some really angry mob is just hanging out. Check the it's about to happen. And you know, you're not going to have to wait long. Some, <laughs> right. some billionaire bag of shit who's a... Like, if you're a billionaire, you're a fucking well, evil. What did they do to Sri Lanka? They were killing all their oh, billionaires yeah, yeah. and millionaires. Well, the they were pushing their cars into the ocean, taking yeah. their taking their houses. I mean, they had, what, what it was a couple hundred thousand people rioting, oh, yeah. burning down the state building. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they play a small violin, right? right. And they were, and they were what were they doing? They were putting the foot foot to ass to the super rich, who screwed over the people. The well, same that's what thing. Happened, that's what happened in in uh, Sweden too, though. No, Iceland. What's going like, to happen they worldwide? Had a, they had a massive economic collapse, and they went, what the fuck? So they arrested all the goddamn bankers, shut down all the banks. Well, you know what? That's something they need to do here. Because, oh, uh, you know, because of the, the, especially with the Federal Reserve, you got to remember, the Federal Reserve is operating illegally, but the American citizens allow it to happen. Exactly. All right. Well, they, the yeah, American they, they allow the American citizens allow. Happen, now, if, you don't know they're happening. And that's there. one thing about those Europeans, man. When they government, you know, screw with their people, they go out in the streets and they make shit happen. Oh, yeah. America. That's just like I said. America is not the home of the brave. America is the home of the bend over and take it. Because that's collectively, yeah. that's what the students, what the, what the, what the citizens do. They allow their government to do things to them that other people in other countries would never allow to happen. Man. Americans believe they, a lie that we have been telling each other before. Well, you know what, because it's the media. It's the media and the education. Oh yeah, and the educational the, the, system which teaches it you teach, shit. It teaches you lies. Like, I graduated it teaches, from high school and I knew slave. nothing I about the slave trade, nothing about the Holocaust. I had to look all that shit up on my own and do my own research into all that. I didn't know about organized crime's existence. I didn't know about political corruption. I didn't know about any of that oh, shit. Oh man, it's got look, the good government. America, bullshit, America is so and, and the British government crap. as well. Look, there's a show on right on on on, on uh, 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 not that one. That's a good one too. But there's a show on on uh, uh, Netflix right now about the Peaky Blinders. Yeah. I've and it just it. and it just and it was it was a it was a good show. Yes. But it just goes to show you how corrupt the government still is. All right, because these dudes were straight up gangbangers and street thugs and, and racketeers and yep. gamblers. They, but yet they were all tied up with the police. They were all tied up with the with the with the with the, with the political system. Yeah, okay. one, one of them was even working with Churchill. So Winston Churchill. So they got so basically they took all this this street violence and all this street. Uh, 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 savvy, and he he was using them for political reasons. All right, so and, and, and then and then and, and their reward was they got licenses to make all their le illegal operations legal. And guess what? You can still buy their whiskey today, all and all over America and all around the world. Yeah. So all right, I, I'll make a statement, and I I'm standing in Chicago, so I'm cognizant of the weight of this statement. Unless you know maybe the twelve guys that I know or happen to be close friends with like an FBI agent who was on C1, I know more about organized crime history in Chicago than anyone you've ever met. Okay. I've been studying it for like 35 so years. So you know the, uh, most of Al Capone's thugs were, were Jewish gangsters? Did you know no, it's not remotely you, true. You, you know his, his, lawyer, his, wait, his lawyer, his lawyer was which, uh, which uh, one? Uh, the one I have to book at home, man. As a matter of <laughs> fact, they deleted my video as a result of it. Uh, his lawyer, his, 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 one of his captains, was his lawyer, and his lawyer was a Jewish lawyer. And matter of fact, they they bought they bought the uh, uh, they were buying up the media, and they were making them remove Jewish gangster from out of the newspapers and put only gangster. So a lot of people would think that they, these were all Italians. You know, that was a Jewish mafia too. The real killer. You had, you had you, and they were the worst. Oh, yeah, the you had you had you had a. Uh, well, I mean, up on the north side, you had some of the nastiest motherfuckers around. We could, we could walk six blocks and I can show you a place where one of the guys who was a shooter in the St. Valentine's Day Massacre got popped six years after. Oh, well, you just saw the whole north side. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this, oh, this was originally like all like Lenny Yaros and, or uh, Lenny Patrick and uh, fucking Davey Yaros in this area. So this was all like G 
Jewish gang territory. I was oh. parking everything up here. There you go. It was like all gambling and all that shit, prostitution. That was all under the control of a bunch of Jewish guys who all answered to Gus Alex, who was a Greek guy, who answered to the bosses of the outfit. Like the only real time the okay, the only way that the outfit was ever an Italian mafia, right? Was only the bosses were Italian. You couldn't be like a top boss. But Unless like, you were Italian. Gus Alex was like one of their top earners. You could have been a mad guy. You would not walk up to Gus Alex and dis fucking respect him because you would find yourself in a hole. Because he made so much money for the outfit that they were like, no, he just got respect. You need to fuck alone. And guys like Jake Cusick. Like Jake Guzik walked into a place in the 20s. He was that, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that was one of the Capone's lawyer's names, was Guzik. He, he walks he into a Jewish place guy. to collect money. He and he lucky collects something. it and he's, he's drinking a beer. And this, this guy, who was a member of the Northside gang, insults him. And he was just like, yeah, whatever, man, just leave me alone. So the dude breaks a glass over his head and then beat the shit out of him. Now, Jake Guzik is like this tall, fat, didn't like to bathe. The horrible slob, the like shit, Jewish. Jewish. Yeah, no, that's Jewish. not him. Yeah. Yeah. That's my hair is an Irish thing. That's a lot. No, you can understand. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> so he comes walking back, and oh. Capone sees this guy all beat to shit, and Capone stands up and he's like, Who did that to you? And he's like, Joe Howard, I was making a collection. And he goes, All right, wait here. And he walks out, storms into the fucking bar, walks up to the guy, beats his ass to death and then shoots him in the face. Just beats him down and then shoots him in the head and, uh, and, and walks out. You know, now, and I imagine in Chicago that sort why. of thing happened all the time. Here's why. Think about it from the point of view of one of, one of Capone's gangsters, right? Like, if he'll go that far or that greasy ass slob. Ciroc, uh, like, 10 and 8 again. Like, how far would he go for me? Man, that's got to inspire some loyalty if you're thinking about it like a gangster. Yeah, so so basically what it all comes down to, we're going to start bringing the scriptures out again, is that a lot of the crime, early crime in America was actually backed by the government, by the local government, all right? And, and, they, and, they, and they show in the police. It's just, like, it's, just like when you, it's just like when you watch the gangs in New York. That when you watch that movie, it just shows you that the, the, all the the gangs, and some of the gangs became the firemen, some of the gangs, and some of the gangs actually became the police. As a matter of fact, they called them the crushers. And they, and, uh, the, 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 my favorite, my, my favorite, my, my favorite part of that movie, man. My favorite line in that movie is when uh, the mayor was talking to uh, uh, Bill the Butcher, and he wanted him to, to take out that. Uh, that new Irish sheriff dude, he wanted them to take him out. And uh, he set him down, he said, I need you to go do this thing. And, and, and Bill the Butcher was like, why don't you get your crushes? He said, why don't you get your crushes to do it? All right? And, and, and the mayor said, no. And the crushes were the police department. He said, he said, no. He said, I can't have them do it. He said, because the law must have the appearance of being upheld to the highest especially as we're breaking yeah, it. And then when I, I was like, God uh -huh. damn. You know, and, that, and that scene is so powerful, right, man. Right. That it, is an actual fucking historical quote from Boss Tweed of the Tammany machine in New York. And the, that, law the Tammany, right. Absolutely. There it goes. That was his name, Tammany. Upheld, even when it's, especially yeah. when we're breaking that's it. A, that's a hell of a line, man. Yeah. Yeah. You remember the movie Hoodlums? Who was the, who was the cops? The Irish criminals? They, they were the, they were what were left of the crushers. Yeah, yeah, the police, yeah. the, the New York Police Department started off as the crushers. Well, you know, right? They were a gang, a street gang, right, man. Right. Well, you know, right? Where police <laughs> departments in the United but, but States. But hold that thought, hold that thought. Bring bring that out, brother. Uh, this this is the Rock Ten and Eight. Because of unrighteous and, and, and dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, right? The kingdom is translated from one people to another, right? So by riches and injuries got by deceit. Alright, I'll bring out that uh, uh you got it, that done it, that you got it. This, this Psalms chapter 94 and verse 20, it says, Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frame of mischief by law? Right, so they frame of mischief by law, because just going back to the Peaky Blinders, um, for them doing all this dirt for the crown, they got awarded business licenses. He got to he got to his gambling business, his whiskey, everything that he was doing illegally. 
And then they even, and then they even show you toward the last, uh, in the last season, how he started dealing with Al Capone all the way here in America. He was doing dealings. Matter of fact, that's how he got rid of the Italian dudes that were sweating him. He, he, he linked up with Al Capone with some heavyweight Italians that had more juice than the ones that were fucking with him in Britain. And, and so they were able to take them, 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 them paisans out over there yep. and without any problems because yep. they were now in business with Capone here in the States. That's all right, up. so I'm like, this shit is blowing my mind. Then and they're putting it right on TV, yeah, man. Yeah. And it's going right. And people are watching it for entertainment, man. They're yeah. watching it for the entertainment, but they're not seeing that that's how the government, right, the government still operates that way. The whole Nicaraguan thing with, with Oliver North and all this, it just, it just, all, the uh, uh, black Blackwater and, and going over to, to, uh, uh, to, to, to Iraq, Iraq to kill and, people for money. For money, so that they can sell arms. Uh, they made all this, the Kennedys. you know, come on, man. The Kennedys. So, I mean, it's just I not. Mean, I'd love to drive my car into a river and kill my girlfriend and then just and get, get away, away with it. it. You know, but as it turns <laughs> out, you're a Kennedy. ass ain't named Kennedy and I'm not a super rich. So. No, there you go, brothers. Yeah, you got the wrong uh, Scottish name. <laughs> it, uh, Irish name, but go ahead, brother. Oh, I had Micah 2. Go ahead, uh, this uh Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. Right. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. So it's in the power of their hands to, to, to do these things. And no one can stop them. Even And they'll set up laws and then don't follow their own laws. Oh, and the God, evidence of that is the fact that you have an IRS and the Federal Reserve. When, when, when you know you're supposed to, money, and the, 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 the Constitution is very clear that you're supposed to have silver and gold and nothing else. And they, all, and they always come up with executive orders and amendments oh, yeah. to get around the laws when the laws are no longer convenient for them. Yep. All right? Okay. I got first But two. they can't pass an equal rights amendment. Don't fuck forget that. That'd be crazy. No, the hell no. They can't do that. Now, this is verse two. It said, and they come at fields and take them by violence. Ooh, come at fields and take, right. So taking somebody else's land. land. Right? You got oil, you got gold, you got silver, you got yep. iron ore. You got something, you got, right. You got something over there I want. Yep. All right, you, hey, you just got a great Again, peach orchard. I want the damn peaches. And I want it, and I got this fucking and sword. Exactly. So give me, <laughs> or get stuck. <laughs> yeah. It said, and houses, and take them away, so they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. And that's what it comes to us, because they oppressed our heritage, and they gave us colors. Yep. All right? They told us we were, we were colors. They took our heritage away from us, knowing that the, the people that they came over here to the Americas to conquer were the, were the, were the lost tribes of Israel, so-called. And that, and that the people that they brought from West, from West Africa were not Africans, but they were Israelites. They were, they were refugees in West Africa. That, that, that they know that, but they don't want to acknowledge that history. Mm -hmm. And now it's getting to the point where they have to acknowledge it. Exactly. I got it, but you came out with 1979 plus video. Yeah, well, I'll say 1993. <laughs> Yeah, um, okay, man. Freaking, freaking frack there. <laughs> and, uh, believe me, them the dudes is gonna More be like fucking. Duck. Hey, them, them gonna be the dudes kicking in doors soon when there ain't no food out there. Oh yeah. All right. You know they they, they finally caught that dude that was on the uh, that was on that. Yeah, the dude on the scooter squeezing asses. Dude, well, some dude was on one of them uh, you know, one of them little wheels that roll around real fast. Uh, what do they call it? Yeah, he was on that. And they basically, he was riding around and he would ride by women and cop a field and keep riding and ride on off. Yeah. yeah, he would roll up, squeeze some cheeks, roll up, grab some breasts, and just speed off. What is in that thing? You want the 40 miles now? Let's go! But they paid, but he got caught up now, so. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, but you know, let's try going to jail and explain that you're there for crapping ass on a single wheeled <laughs> vehicle. Fucking yeah, smart. yeah, he's probably not gonna get too much respect from the prison, <laughs> from the inmates. What's that mean? What you here for, bro? I don't know. Just <laughs> right. So I gotta ask. You have a fancier outfit than everybody else, and everybody seems to be showing you a great deal of respect. And you also seem to be speaking with a great deal of authority. So can I ask, hey, what's okay. your name? My name is Ted. My name is Malcolm. Malcolm. Malcolm up. Malcolm up. Right. All right. My I don't head. even know what Malcolm means. I know what Malcolm means. Malcolm. Malcolm is just. I, don't know. I think Malcolm. As a matter of fact,
Matter of fact, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, Malcolm is actually an Irish name. I'm pretty sure it's an Irish name. Really? Yeah, it's Irish. Can anybody ever tell me very much that? Well, he was he was born in America. A lot, a lot. So the, the actual Irish people were black too. Now. That's so the real right. Irish were black, just like right. the real Scots were black. Right. Right. All right. So those who are uh, Negro, a so-called Negro, a newly created so-called new new species of human beings, a Negro, with an Irish name, is really not that. Because, and it's not that difficult to do the research to prove that. Cromwell, Cromwell was pushing the Negroes out of out of uh, Scotland and Ireland. That's what he was doing. All right. And then, and then they started calling themselves that. That's facts. Oh, no. All right? I oh, I've been to Ireland many so, times. So, so there you go. The, all, all those people in the island of Montserrat, all, all, all those people in the, in, the, in the island of Montserrat, those different islands, uh, were, were the people who got were, were, were black Irish. That's why if you go to Montserrat, you would you hear them talk, you would think you were in Ireland. You ever, you ever just, just go on the YouTube and, uh, and, and, and put in Montserrat, and just, just listen to the people of Montserrat talk. That doesn't really surprise yeah. me all that much. They didn't really leave the Irish a whole lot of options. So, yeah, that was Cromwell's doing. Yeah, but, and uh, also their core. Yeah, I am, the, I am the elder of the camp, so that's that's what that's all about. And what is it? I don't know what that means. I'm, I'm the elder of the camp. I mean, this is a pretty big, you know, big camp. I'm, I'm, I'm the elder, and they're just showing, showing respect. I'm not, sure. I'm, not just, I'm just not sure what you mean when you say camp. Well, okay, give me a... Uh, Sorry, I'm I'm, 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 I'm going to explain it to you. You're going to have to pull give, that Give me back. Acts 18 uh, and 1. I'm going to explain to you what a camp is. When the Lord the, when the Lord and his disciples, guess what they were? They were a camp. They were a Hebrew camp. Give me uh, Hebrews 7 and 14. I got that. They were... They were uh, he's the Lord. The Lord is the Hebrew of Hebrews. All right? But but uh, but when he, well, when he got together with his 12, they were a camp. And what did they do? They edified and taught our lineage and our history to our people who have been under the Greek captivity for 400 plus years and many of them forgot who they were or they were uh, living their lives they all had Greek names they were covered in tattoos you know they were we they were living the Greekish fashion all right and the Lord came on the scene to redeem and bring his people back to their ways of life and they don't teach you that in the churches so give me that give me the uh, Hebrews first I mean oh. the uh, what did I ask for first <laughs> give me the acts uh, right about the camps this Acts chapter 18 and verse 1, it says, After these things, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth. So he left, he, he left Athens, Greece, and went to Corinth, Corinth, Greece. Go ahead. And found a certain Jew named Aquila. So a Jewish man, and, and basically the word Jew, Moreno, and more. If you look up the word Moreno, it's going to tell you that's either a Jew or a Moor. You know what a Moor is, right? Yes. So so how is it that a Jew and a Moor and a Moreno are all the same thing? Because they were. So these these so these 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 white Jews, they're not Jews. They're Jewish. The suffix ish means to be like or pertaining to. Alright, the actual Jews were black. And the Bible tells you that over and over again. Go ahead. Well so called black, for lack of a you right. know, because people don't understand, you know, that they were just melanated, right? No but no one is actually black. Go ahead. It says and felt a certain Jew named Aquila, born in Pontius lately come from italy right with his wife priscilla because that claudius had commanded all jews to depart from rome and came unto them all right stop right there the reason claudius departed all jews to to depart from rome you can go look this up in secular history was because of aggressive street teaching oh, I know. aggressive street teaching so they were on the streets aggressively telling their people to stop being like a greek follow follow that we have our lineage back we're we're the people of the lord yep. and and you got to understand the powers that be they don't want us to be the, the Caesar, people of the lord Caesar does right. not want you no to they want us to stay fun, black though. and hispanic yeah. and native they want us to stay that no you being a no. jew we already got we already set up two ish people they want we you to stay under right their boot exactly it doesn't matter because, what they call it because that's coming, what it comes down to it, you're right and coming because coming back to this puts us back in order and they don't want to see us in order. They want to see us with our pants sagging on a damn skateboard with it smoking a joint and doing gangbanging shit and acting like fools out here. All right? That's what they want. They don't want to see us in order. That's not, that's not, no. Is that we was out here doo-wopping like in the old days and singing. We'd have, a, we'd have, you know, 100 people out here tossing coins at us. All right? And we was out here, you know, break dancing. They, they, they'd be all around throwing dollars at us. But being out here in order, 
going into the history, going into the Bible, they don't want to see us in that order like that. That actually makes them afraid. But I was telling so, you, I've been in New York. That's what you it know, comes down to. to you know, um, open carry was legal in California. Completely legal. It was always legal in California. Right up until the Black Panthers started marching with rifles on their shoulders and they said, changed that. you motherfuckers want to be armed? We'll go around armed too. Right. And Ronald Reagan, that dog molesting chicken fucker who should rot in hell for all time among his evil you, wife, he was the governor at the time and changed the law. I can believe so it. That. that was the whole meaning. They're like, I, we I, can't I, have I, the well, Negroes walking no, around I, with firearms. I know that happened. That's Idiots. Yeah. yeah. It's all hypocrisy and bullshit. I read a lot, man. I love history. I, you know, and yeah, I imagine you get a lot of uh, uh, rejection from your own if you start quoting real history. I don't care. That's the key. Are you an outcast amongst your people? I don't know, baby. <laughs> he comes yeah. down to yeah, because you can't. Can't be around on someone that's I mean, from 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 from, uh, from Romania talking about you know the people that in Romania are not white like you. That they, 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 you gonna have you gonna have issues with that. Yeah. So, all right. All right. Because, because that's a true statement. See, one they, must they, one must occasionally temper one's pointing out of actual historical truths. Well, see, that's just it. With other white we people, we we white we people are delicate. We're all breaks no gas when it comes to the truth up here. And then, and that's why, and, and telling the truth in America gets you labeled as a hate. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to <laughs> But go ahead and get that, uh, the Hebrews? The Hebrews now. Uh, this, uh, this Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. And see, that's something that Christianity uh, does fervently. They don't, they don't teach about the nationality of the Lord. They try to universalize. You know, as a matter of fact, the word Catholicism means universal, and this isn't a universal book. This, this is a book to and for the Hebrews. That's why you have a whole book called the Hebrews. And, and when you go to the New Testament and in Corinth and Ephesus and Galatians and all those places, uh, the, the, Lord, the Lord was going to, to his people. You know what she got her mad, right? Yeah, and she got her And she got her, 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 her uh, what do you call it? What do you call those things? Rosaries. No, what do you call those things? The rosary. Yeah, she was holding a rosary, you know, counting them in that. And look. This is just factual truth. Like I said, everybody's a Christian until the scriptures come out. Yes. But the Bible clearly tells you that that's a lie. And that's what devil means. Devil means deceiver. It means liar. That's all, and that's all it means. That this is a lie. As simple as that, man. Jesus tells us that I am the way the truth is a lie. Yeah, he... Yeah, so what... That's true. But he still had a... a, a when he walked the earth, he had a complexion. All right? When he walked the earth as a man... God. Right, and the God has a has a look too. Get, make, give me Daniel seven and nine, yes, and, and it says that God. But get, but let's see what the word says. It's like all it said. Everybody's a Christian oh, until the scriptures come out. Uh -huh, gotta stay, stay, stay and wait for the scripture. Give me Daniel seven and nine. This is Daniel seven and nine. And, and if somebody get uh, uh, Daniel ten and five. I got the ten. Daniel seven and nine. Right. I beheld to the thrones were cast down. Right. And so the thrones, read it slowly, brother. The thrones are all are all the kings of the of the earth. Because when the Lord comes, it can't be an American government. It can't be a Japanese government. It can't be a Russian government. Nope. He's going to cast on all the thrones before him. Go ahead. And the Ancient of Days did sit. So the Ancient of Days is sitting on that throne. That's who the world ignorantly calls God. Go ahead. Whose garment was white as snow. Go ahead, on a white garment like mine. It went all the way to the foot. All right. Go ahead. And the hairs of his head. Right. Like the pure wool. Like the pure wool. Head of his head like the pure wool. Oh, all right. Daniel seven and nine. That's more. Yes, it does. Absolutely, we're connected. Keep it, keep it going. You see, this is just we see before you stepped up. That's what we were talking about. People, people try to universe because it's the truth has to come out. 
it's it's somebody funny how it just this listen to someone reading Bible of, of verses and say, well, does that have anything to do with salvation? When this, when this what lies, what, 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 this what do you think people. this came out of? No, when you tell the like, truth, not changing the doctrine. Like, like Helter Skelter? What are you talking about? No, it has nothing to do with that. That's why they put it in the Bible. In the air like the pure wool, right? His throne was like the fiery flame. Right? So that's what the world ignorantly calls uh, UFOs. Those are the chariots of Israel. That's what those things are that they now admit and exist. Those are the angels. Yep. All right? And they're coming to get the elect of their people. Yep. The, the, who are what? The Israelites. Mm -hmm. All right? And and, and, and the, like if the people in the land of Israel, they're not the Israelites at all. Not at right? all. They're not oh. the Israelites. And most of the world knows that. But since they rule and control everything, no one will speak against them. All right, so go to 10, 5, and 6 now. Papa, I got it, yeah. Can I say this real quick? Hey, we also was singing uh, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. You know, we get to that, brother. Oh, let, okay, the script, let the scripture come out, brother. <laughs> what, what? Papa, we this, get to that. All right. Right. This Daniel chapter 10 and oh, verse 5. Hold on, let the scripture come out. It says, now, because now it's talking about the son. Okay? We talked about the father. He said he had hair like wool. All right, mm -hmm. so go ahead. This Daniel 10 and 5. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, Whose loins were girded on the linen garment. Go ahead. Whose loins were girded with fine gold so, of you fast. So he had like that's where they get a championship belt from. He had on that war belt. Because he tells you in Exodus 15 and 3, the Lord is a God of war. So you're describing you're describing somebody. I'm describing the Lord. I mean that's what the Bible is. Somebody, but we're gonna get to that. Salvation. It's all connected. The way, Let the scriptures God. come out. Like I said, everybody's a Christian until the scriptures come out. Everybody's you got a scripture. Everybody. My it, pastor has been a pastor for 40 years. That's so that his, still don't mean he has the his truth. Parents, his parents were the pastor. Don't mean he got the truth. That don't mean he has the truth. What is your job denomination? I don't have a denomination. Okay. That's just it. Well, but that, I mean, but, but not, anyway, let's let let's look at He you. goes by the Bible. I, I doubt it. We are reading out the Bible. All right, so let's we we can let let us continue. We're gonna get to that part. Oh, oh go ahead. This Daniel chapter ten and verse six. We're gonna get to that. But first, we why is it the Lord, like I said, as long as this this guy right here, which is Cesare Borgia, he posed for this image. He became the image, which was a lot, and that's in the Bible too, and and uh, and Maccabees three and forty eight. Well, really, it nobody, told you. Really, nobody knows what he looks like. No, the well, Bible tells you. Tells you. Like, see, that's a lie. That's what. That's what to see. Yeah, just to say like, that, that's yeah. not true. Have you ever seen the, the movie? Bible? Have you ever seen the movie with a little girl or the? Uh, yeah, the little boy had a near-death experience and went to heaven. He told his mother things that he should have known, that he had a sister that she lost and missed. I see my sister. He did. Yeah, I, I, can, I can believe but that. But he also seen Jesus. And what did he look like? He seen Jesus. Like that picture? And he seen the <laughs> uh, director and director. Sorry, but it looked like this. There was another one. No, 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 he didn't look like that. There was another young lady. After all this went by, the young man was eight years old, and on the news there was another young lady came to the church and she had this experience. And she came to the portrait of Jesus. And the little boy said, That's him. That's him. That's him. So there is. On this world, a picture of us. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's the, the uh, children. That's why we said we going we gonna believe. It's the scripture says, "Let the word be true, and every man a liar." So we gonna continue in the scripture. But go ahead, keep keep going with that, brother. This, we gonna work our way. We working our way to salvation. First, we establishing what the Lord looked like, and then we are gonna go to salvation when who was for. Yeah, because it's a, it's a, it's because it's a, it's a it's a common, it don't make this matter. What no, it does. It, it does. For truth's sake, it matters. It don't matter. Matter. It don't matter so what first John, like. real quick, First John five and ten. First John five. No, no. Like. See, all those things. Are, those are Christian sayings. None of that is backed up by scripture. No. Everything you said is not backed up by scriptures, my man. I'm trying to give you the only truth. thing I said is that it don't matter. What you said it don't, don't matter what you what your your opinions don't, don't matter. Jeremiah like. seventeen nine said that the the uh, heart, the heart is deceitful of all things. The heart meaning the mind. We trying to get to the truth, bro. Come on, man. Let let, let the truth come out, man. If you want to look, if your pastor was here. I wish you, you know what, you know what, I used to love, we used to have pastors and rabbis, uh, 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 Bible scholars, we've had them all, man, and guess what, you guys the Bible, and like no one you've ever met in your life, I promise you, that, and then exactly, and he, learned, and he learned the precepts of men, he learned the precepts of men, it doesn't matter, my mother, my, my family came from a family of preachers, and guess what, 
I had a, I have, I come from a line of preachers, and you know what? I know the Bible if, if way better than enough, any of them. If man. I can write them down, what you, what you get? What, what you're doing is your monologue and you're keeping the scriptures for what? what he said, Give me First John five and ten. We speak with the scriptures. You're speaking with your opinion. Now, my pastor. But, with the, you know what? You go. Pastor, you get your pastor. Bring him back here. Yep. I would love to meet him. Yeah, Matter of fact, you have him come back here next Friday, the same time, and I'll be here with him. And, and we're just going to go man for man, word for word, the scriptures. And what you know, what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you that I know the Bible way better than your pastor. Does. All right, well, go ahead, brother. It's the first John five and ten. He that believeth on the Son of God. Right. Have the witness in himself. So it's a witness in himself to believe on him and read. He that believeth not God hath made right. him a liar. Right. He made him a liar. Go ahead. Because he believeth not the record. He believe not the record. We're giving you the record of the Lord and you're disregarding it. No, we're giving you. It. Yeah. You, and we're going to connect. And so, so his image matters. Everything in the Bible matters. All right. It all matters. Includes salvation. All right. But what, what we're telling you. You don't want it. Well, you know what it is. You have a hard time accepting that the Lord wasn't a white man. That's clear. No, that's not what I'm saying. No, yes, it is. Whether you said it or not, you're on the Like defense. I said, I don't but know what he looked like. Because he believed or not. The Bible tells you. We, and we were telling you, and you didn't want to hear it. You were like this. Well, well, my pastor, my pastor. Right. 40 years you don't know I was like this. Well, and you, okay, bro. Well, go ahead. But I, he because he believed or not the record that right? God gave of his son. I know it's a hard thing to accept. No. But it's true. No, I, what you got? It's, it's John 7 and 38. He Thank that believeth on me, as the scripture have said. As the scriptures have said. Out of his belly shall flow. Out of his belly shall flow what? Rivers, rivers of what? living water. Which is true. Uh, the Lord, look. The, okay. Man, the Lord is cold. Stuck. I can't get All the right. Bridge. Okay. Assembly of God, Darling, Texas. Glenn M. Davis is the pastor. Kelly so you from Texas? Kelly, you met Jerry Flanagan. I'm one of his parishioners. So you from you from Ireland? You want to email him? No. If you want to email him whatever? No. Email him this. Okay, I got a scripture. Assembly of God Church, Garland, Texas. Okay, well, okay, well that's fine. Well, all right. Well, you tell him this. He can go to YouTube and look up Malcolm. Up. Malcolm. Up. Malcolm. Up. Malcolm. Up. Just look it up. He can just look up Malcolm. Up. But my face gonna pop up. But he can watch the videos, and then we can have a dialogue back and forth. You, you, uh, you're all Christians. Well, we're the real Christians. Yes, yes, but you believe in the Father, the Son, absolutely, and, and, the, and the Holy Ghost. So yes, we do. You believe in the resurrection. Yes, we do. And so do we. You believe repent for your sins, and you shall be saved. John 15, 16. <laughs> yeah, because hold on, real quick, you gotta before you leave, you gotta hit it. Hold on, hold on, man. John 15, 16. Because I got it once again, you, you're speaking with doctrines of men. All right? And they said. Oh, that says in the Bible. No. Yeah, but but who is that for? You got to get to the nitty gritty. You got, it is, but you got to get to the nitty gritty. But you're using it to make it general. The Bible's not a universal book. That's not at all. Read, read this. John 15. I just said in order to be saved. Uh, okay, well, let's read how you going to say Who's going to be saved or not right here with this one scripture? This is John 15 and 16. Right? He have not chosen me. Right? But I have chosen you. You can't choose the Lord. The Lord chooses you as the Father. That's right. And ordained you that ye should go and bring forth food. He's been ordained to come and bring forth food to tell the truth. So all these people who went to school to learn, the Lord didn't choose them. Not at all. At all. That's not how you get this. Read it, read it again. Read, read it again. This is John 15 and 16. Yep. He have not chosen me. You can't choose. You can't decide. I'm going to become a pastor. Boy, you don't do that. You, the Lord just, just like how, 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 how the men were fishing, and the Lord came and got them, and they were fishing. And when the Lord came, there's something in their spirit. And they left their business and followed Him. It's the same thing with us. He didn't have to go to school. His father was a pastor. It's the same thing. His father, his father was a pastor in the world, not of the Lord. Go ahead. He have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you. That ye should bring forth fruit. So you can't choose Jesus. The Lord, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, that's not his name anyway. He said Malcolm. But Malcolm up. Malcolm. Not Malcolm. M A L. M A L C H A double A M A. M A L C H. Double A. Malcolm. All right. It's actually written in Hebrew. Oh, I'm not wearing that garment. M A C. M A L. 
Mal, come up. C H double A M A. All right. Still. So all we gave you was scripture and truth, bro. All right. The scripture and, I get from the church. Okay. <laughs> I got to preach that real quick. Just bring it out, man. Go, well, go move your truck, off. bro. Oh, you can't. You're stuck. I got to the police. I'm at the U-Truck. Well, I got one more for you. Oh, okay. Well, then this, you might as uh, well stay here and get and get, get uh, uh, yeah, Right. Yeah, yeah. This is Revelation chapter 1, verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with the garment down to the foot. Right. So he had that long garment like I'm wearing. That's why yeah. we wear this garment. Yep. Yeah. All right. With the true name in Hebrew of the of the father and the son because the letter j was was, was created in 1534 right mm -hmm. so the lord lived you know about 1600 years before that the letter j didn't exist right. so jesus and jehovah can't be the name go ahead and girt about the past with the golden girdle right so once again he was wearing that, that war belt yep all right because it, the Lord is, it, people have this 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 image of the Lord. That he's just a little soft, timid man. The Lord is a huge, gigantic warrior who's coming to conquer all kingdoms on the face of the earth right, and right. set up His right. personal pronoun people, and His right. people are Hebrews, right. Right? Yep. right? So they try to universalize a book that was meant for the Hebrews. Right. That was Christianity, which was born out of the Renaissance, which is in one of the most racist times in the history of mankind. Because that's saying, how. You, what saying, I'm telling you is, where's that image at? Are you saying Hebrews are, are you saying Hebrews the only ones that are going to heaven? Yes. They, 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 everybody's going to heaven. There's only going to be one ruling class people, though. That's right. right? Everybody's going. Right. Yes. Heaven going to be here on earth. That's what the Bible says. That's right. And, and the people going to be ruling it out of Israelites. Yep. All right. So that's what we get to that salvation part now. And we're going to do it through scripture. Mm. What yeah, you got, Mika? Well, let them finish that and then bring out what you got. It said, his hairs and his hairs were white like wool. All right, so they struck out right there. Oh, and in a dictionary, like a 1929 dictionary, when you look up the word wool it, or I, woolly. I can I can oh. show it to you. I screenshot it. <laughs> it, it basically said, it basically said like Negroid hair. You can't check no more. Like Negroid hair. <laughs> now you see what I mean when I said oh, no, no, that, that everybody that is, the is a Christian. Fucking entertainment. He had the and, and I got to tell you, at least 30% of them have been his eyebrows. Man, his eyebrows were like... <laughs> This dude yeah, might be dry yeah. brown. Yeah. Yeah. He reminds me of the dance. Like, really? Are you serious? Buddy? Now you, but you see what I mean when Is I that say that something to do with salvation. Well, we're reading the Bible to you. What do you think it has to do? Because this was, this is what happened. No, and that's why I told him. Exactly. <laughs> and that's what I told him. And that's why I say everybody's a Christian until the scriptures come out. Yep. And when Perfect. the scriptures come out, they actually have a problem because. The truth of the matter is, is his own hatred in him because he don't want to let go of this false image and accept what the Bible actually says. Right. As simple as that, man. It's, because it's because a, you got to understand, though, if, if he accepts that, then he has to accept the other That his doctrine is a lie, too. That, yep. that everything exactly. that he grew up with yep. is actually bullshit. Yep. And he's not superior to anybody. That's why I said I know it hurts and it's hard. Else. It's a hard It's a hard piece of meat to swallow. I'm going to finish this up. It says, as white as snow... And his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. Remember the gar? It said the garment was down to the foot, so right. all you could see was uh, his feet. So it said, and his feet like unto fine brass, which looks brown. like a penny. Yep. All right. Exactly. You know, if you have a penny, uh, especially a, a, a old penny that doesn't have to shine anymore. Mm -hmm. All right. And you hold that penny to, it's gonna be darker than me. It's gonna be somewhere in between us. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's what a penny looks. That's what the Lord looks like. Yep. All right. uh, is uh, let me finish this real yeah. quick. Is it as if they burned in a furnace? So it's, so it's even darker. Dark so skin. we're talking about somebody who's chocolate, dark, almost like an African dark. But he said right. that it doesn't mention it in the. Scripture. But he said he, but he says that nobody knows what the Lord looks like. <laughs> but but it looks like me. But but it's okay. Hey, exactly. But no, but he said he said nobody knows down, what the it's Lord. Like down to here and it's red. There it is, so, man. So, like, trust me, I wear my hair down and I go walking around. People are like, oh, you look like Jesus. And I'm like, Jesus was black, trust me. I've been saying that for the last 15 Let's years. Let's go, man. You know that Jesus wasn't white, right? Like, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, bring it out, brother. This Daniel chapter 10 and, and verse 5. It says, down. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphas. His body was also like the burl, and his face as the appearance of lightning, 
and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like his in colors. His arms and his feet, what? Like in color to polished brass. Brown brass, man. And the voice of his words were like the voice of a multitude. So that makes this a lie. So for that guy, and now he was reciting the same, same thing that most Christians recite. That makes and that's sense. all doctrines of men, which is all lies. That, Everybody's that a Christian the until the, the scriptures come out. That's not bullshit. That's Cesare bullshit. Cesare bullshit, exactly. Oh, because they're just... That whole family. World, they call them the world's first crime family. They pray they were a bunch of murderers and rapists, incest. Uh, uh, he, he was a damn, he was a mole. I, I mean, mean, they wrote the prince about him. Yeah. And, and it was, I actually have that book. Prince. So do I. I have a copy in Italian mm -hmm. that my friend bought me in, oh, that's cool. in Naples. You can read Italian? And that, no. Oh, I was going to say that. Awesome. He brought it and gave it to me, and I was like, this is awesome. It's beautiful, but you don't read Italian. And he's like, I don't know. It'd still be cool to have, have on the like, shelf, though. Skip, but yeah. nice. I'll put it on the shelf next to the one I actually can and have read. Right. You know. But, uh, yeah, the funny thing that a lot of people don't realize about that book is... That wasn't intended to be an instructional novel. That was intended to be a social criticism it. of what wow, an absolute I did not know bastard that. Wow. What he was. I didn't know that. Yeah. He ended up... Uh, and it's funny, but they use it as an instruction how to take over and rule and do shit. I know. Ain't something? They've I also been, have the... Uh, I've been doing print. it ever since. Wow. I did not know that. See, I just learned something from you. I got some real quick. Act 5 to 31. Yeah, that truck driver's gonna have a sleepless night tonight, man. Act 5 and 31, it says, Him has the most high exalted, exalted the right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. But that is, uh, 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 he has to give repentance. Read it again. We're calling to read it again, brother. Because he, cause, so, I mean, this is, he's telling you who, who, who forgiveness and salvation is for. And there's one scripture. Well, we can bring many more. But this one just makes it clear. Acts 5 and 31. And that the Most High exalted with the right hand to be a prince and a savior. So he put, so the Lord sits at the right hand of, of, of the Father. All right? Guess who sits at the left hand? Satan. That's, that's scriptural too. They're never going to teach you that in church. They're going to tell you Satan. They're going to tell you that's the left hand side because the Lord controls that too. You can't have hot without cold. can't have up or down, up without down. You can't have good without evil. It has to be a balance. That has to be a balance. Light without darkness, exactly. And so, so Satan is not some renegade, rogue uh, agent. He's operating under the authority on the left hand side. He can only do so much and go so far. But go ahead, brother. It says for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. That, so it is. So forgiveness and repentance is only for Israel, man. Point blank, period. So that guy, and but he would disagree with that. Even though it came right out the Bible. Why? Because he believed not the record. All right. What was the one you read in John 7 and 38? Uh, yeah, read it again. This uh, John chapter 7. <laughs> Go ahead. This John chapter 7 and verse 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Hey, that's the power I serve. That's me. This uh, second address 6 and 28, as for faith, it shall flourish. My, I'm going to start at 27. It says, for evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. That's one of my favorite scriptures. Run it back. This and that's what's happening. That's why the world is so shook up uh, by us and by what we do. Why are they trying to get us off the internet? And off the airwaves. Oh, should I already all right? up? Because all, 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 all these uh, <laughs> all these Christian churches, you know, uh, uh, getting together and having their meetings. We got to do something about these Hebrews on the street. Right. That's the, all they're doing is fulfilling scripture. They are fulfilling prophecy. That's the same thing Claudius did. Uh, that's the same thing Claudius did in in in, in, uh, in, in, in you know in uh, uh, in Rome. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what the guy was. They chop, they chop, they chop the things off now. Chop the breasts off. Yeah. That's a chick. That's a chick to chop the breasts off. They, they do that nowadays. They parade why around like that. It was a, it was why a would she do that? It was like 10 women around the pride parade. They came through here, the chick chopped off, and you could see where it was cut at. And I'm then like, they oh, chopping man, them off, yeah, and then men are getting them put in. Man. Yeah, yeah, man, so, so the Lord, this is bugged out, yeah, man. Yeah. That's not. Babylon. That's really not. Wow. That ain't it at all. Welcome to America. That's not it at all. 
I thought it was a dude. I was trying to figure it out. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't really. Go ahead. This second address, 6 and 27, for evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. Right. Man, most hot plague in him, man. Tell me about like that dude. Right. That dude was in. A, he was in the down. He was at the OK Corral. Yeah, yeah. He was in the shootout. God, that's why he lost. walked with a limp. <laughs> he was like this. <laughs> right. Water, alcohol, shut up. Bang, bang, bang. Lord keep it. I thought I was just out for a few minutes for a walk, and now I got all this knowledge. There you go, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, so, hey, so, wa watch. Let's tune in and take notes, bro. You know? Go ahead, brother. I got Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony, if he speak not according to this word, because there's no light in them. That guy said here and now, shut up. Now that's some really good edification came out. Yeah. Because the guy was boasting and bragging about it, it um, yeah, has to be 40 years of the truth. But you have to go to church, they don't read all the scriptures, man. Yeah, they, they have, they, because what happens when you go to these colleges and universities or, or to these cemetery schools, as our, uh, as our beloved apostle says, uh, you, get, you get indoctrinated. You don't really get told the truth. That's why Vocab Malone is so confounded and so obsessed with us. Always trying to, because it, you know it's like they, like the, like the apostles are saying and brothers are saying that we force Christians to actually read the Bible. We made we up their game, and now you know you turn on a random Christian Christian channel, and you got a, a, a pastor standing there with two readers now. You know, so right now they and now they going into the Greek and into the Hebrew. <laughs> you know. We we were actually hey Shalom, beloved. We made them up their game, man. Right? We totally made them up their game, but it really didn't it really didn't help them because they still don't understand the Bible, man. You know, they go to church every week and still don't understand the Bible. I got something real quick. The John John 4 and 24. The most high is the spirit. And they that worship him. But worship him in spirit and in truth. There it is, man. And the truth, and the truth is that the Lord, you know, he has an appearance. He's not just some puff of smoke sitting on a throne talking. Void of, of, of an image, man. The scripture said in the beginning, let us make them in our image. And so so he created the sun in his image, and the sun created all the angels and everything else in his image. It's really simple, man. But yet they want to say that nobody knows what he looks like. You know? I actually enjoy cutting that eat on my head. I don't know, he's been gone. Yeah, he been, he been, he been gone a minute now. He's a truck driver. Cause he had to wait for the cops to come so he can show you turn with that big ass semi. Cause he, he was smart enough. He's a good driver, clearly. Cause he put he he peeped that uh that overhead was like I he was and he went and measured it and realized that damn I can't go through that you know so he was stuck he had to sit there I got something real quick go ahead brother with my Solomon two and twelve hey wait before you read that but the Lord did that yep. the the Lord made him you know gave him the, the you know the sense and the perception to see that he may not fit and come measure it. Just so he could come back and, and, and stop right here, and all the edification could come out. That was the Lord did that, man. And it, and and then it proved the point to the to the other dude who on the fence. I still don't know if he Esau or whatever. But um, you know, he was he was definitely had no problem admitting that he knew that the Europeans were not white, that they were actually uh, so-called brown people. Vikings. Yeah, yeah. He the Vikings. He knew all that. All right. With my Solomon 2 and 12, therefore let his lion wait for the righteous, because he's not for our turn. And he is clean contrary to our doings. He upbraideth us with our offending the law and, and objected to our infamy, the transgressions of our education, man. All right, so you sit up here and try to boast on the 40 years of your pastor, or your pastor and your dad. To override scripture. Yeah. Right, right. Because yeah. his dad was a pastor too. Yeah. And? For 40 years. 
to nothing. I wasted all that time and money, man. Like, you know, they didn't come up here and I'm, I'm, I'm uh, uh, So what he's saying is, well, he didn't go to school. So you mean he learned all that stuff that he learned all them lies from his daddy then? Yeah. Because his daddy learned all them lies from his forefather. It is what it is, man. Christianity is a lie. Right. Go ahead, bring it out, brother. The book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the traditions of men, Ooh. after the rudiments of the world, and not after Hamashiach. So the ways of Christianity, which was taught by men, which Esau even means the devil, and he's a man, and the word devil means liar, you know, it goes show, you know, that, that that's a that's a doctrine of men. You know, that's not the ways of the most high, man. It was taught by men, not by the Lord's men, you know, which are Israelites, which the Lord had to put the spirit on the Israelite man to teach you the word. That's not the ways of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, man, whom the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus, man. Yeah, that's not the way. And you can't find none of this manly doctrine. You can't back it up with nothing in the scriptures. You can back it up by, by Catholic priest verses and Hollywood movies. But you can't back it up by the words of God, man. Yeah, his whole doctrine could not be backed up by the Bible at all. Because every time we went to the Bible, he got cut. That's why he kept trying to monologue. You know, he's like the villain who knew he was about to be defeated. Started monologue. No, you can't defeat me. And you know, right. He started He started this monologue trying to talk away and keep, and keep the scriptures from coming out. Because every time the scriptures came out, he got cut again. He realized that his parrying skills sucked. He trying to sword fight with sword masters, man. All right? Got a quick one. Bring this, it out, brother. This Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And the Heavenly Father, he has risen up his prophets to teach our people the truth. Not that uh not that Christianity, that watered down plantation Christianity that our people are taught today. No. Nope. The real men of the Lord bringing out the real truth of the Bible via the Holy Spirit. Uh, John 3 and 34, for he whom the most high hath, hath sent. Speaketh the words of the Most High. So the Lord, he's risen up his men to what? To bring out these scriptures. Precept upon precept, line upon line, here little, there little. The words of the living power, man. All right, not of man. So everything that we prove is through the scriptures, man. With at least four precepts that match. I got Mr. Book of Psalm chapter 50, verse 16. But unto the wicked, Yahweh said, What hast thou do to declare my statutes? But that thou should have taken my covenant in thy mouth. And that goes to Esau Eden trying to teach us a watered down doctrine of the Bible, man. You know, and he's the wicked. And he's trying to he's trying to teach the Bible according to what he believes, you know, just to fit, just to fit him. And this Bible does not fit him or any other nation besides the Israelites, man. The, the whole the whole I think and I feel doctrine. No leave it to your own understanding. You can't say what you think and what you feel. That's off, man. You gotta say what you believe. Not what you feel, man. That's to make no any sense. Don't make any sense. Mm -hmm. Well, because he's about a pros prosperity doctrine, right? He's not teaching to save souls. He's teaching to get paid. Man. Yeah, because uh, exactly. Because think about <laughs> it. If you if you're a prosperity teach, I'm mean, a teach a preacher. All right. I, I don't want just the Israelites in my church. I want all people in my church. He want all the money. He's like, well, brother, don't just teach them. You know. I Hey, it ain't even a whole lot of blacks and Mexicans in this town, man. But, you know, but, you know, how, you know I'm going to be poor. Hey, I, this is, my church is in a white neighborhood. You mean, you know, you're yeah, in trouble. Right. Well, sorry, your pro, you know, your prosperity doctrine going to fail you, huh? You know, he want that, you know, he wanted, um, uh, well, he said Texas. So, you know, he gonna, I'm sure he didn't move to a, a, a multicultural area, put his church up. And, t and, and got on that on, on the over the top. All welcome. Right. So we, we we all the Lord's people. No, we not. Jeremiah seventeen nine. Hearts are secret above all things and desperately weak. Who can know? I the Lord search the heart. Hey, hey, my man, he ain't know the Lord is man. It's hard. He going off the heart, man. Wicked mind, man. You know. Here it is. We got the scriptures trying to break it down and give it to you. And he's telling us about his preacher, man, for uh, 40 years he don't study on man. So Every time mean, the elder was making a point, kind of. he came in right at that moment to cut him off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it started very sick. He didn't want to hear it. He, 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 because it's the, 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 hey, it was like, hey, you ever had a, a cut on your hand and he got some lemon juice or salt in it? Right. Yeah. right. He was getting that salt in his wound, man. 
He would get a fresh cut and then a, then a spray of salt. <laughs> he was he was getting stung, man. The scriptures was hurting him, man. And that was good for you to witness that, brother. I got some. This uh Jeremiah chapter twenty three, and I'll start at verse one. It says, "Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter scatter the sheep of my pasture," mm. saith the Lord. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, power of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. Verse 3, And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries where I have driven them, and will bring them again to their folks. And, the and they they're being gathered by the word. So here you are, a pastor, preaching the wrong word, right? The Bible said if you're not gathering, you are scattering. Right, and then, and you know, Big Ock read, was that Acts 5 and 20, I believe? You know, when he talked about his, his people. How you gonna gather if you talk, saying everybody? You cause a confusion, man. So these pastors are causing confusion. Because mm -hmm. they want all people because they want everybody's money. But you know, they about to end that come December 13th. You know? Let it bring it on, man. Shut this shit down. No more dollars. Right? right. No more dollars. So hey, finally these Americans gonna act up. Alright, because you know. Because they're telling people to run and take their money out of the bank. But then the authorities are saying that any money on hand is going to be void. You won't be able to you run and take your money. You're not going to be able to use it. Wow. So literally, if you got to be sitting on a big lump sum, spin it and live it up like it ain't no tomorrow. Because unless you plan on, on taking the MOTB, <laughs> you know, they didn't put a date to the shit now. So let it happen, man. We've been waiting on this. So that means if that's true, a lot of chaos is getting ready to happen between now and December 13th, man. Anything could happen, man. The lights could go out. You know, they gotta they gotta kill the system to activate the new the new system. All right. We we're talking about too how um if you got a lot um, a large sum of money, all right, they're gonna penalize you and you're not gonna be able to get all that money that you got in. They're gonna jack you. Yep. Yeah. They gonna they gonna take they gonna take you they gonna take your stuff. And now you also know why. They're now arming the, the IRS and they're yep. practicing kicking in doors on American citizens, man. Mm -hmm. All right? They're getting ready to start kicking in doors and, and they're going to get met with a lot of resistance. People are already saying, you kick in my door, I'm blasting. Yeah, that's what they All right? Say. And um, that PPP loan stuff is another... Uh, is Those people going to get targeted, too. Yeah. All, all you all you Hellcat drivers, oh. <laughs> you know? Yeah, because not only they... Uh, all you went out and bought all them Hellcats oh, oh, yeah. and shit yeah. with the PPP loans. Yeah, the, uh, uh, Jake at home. Them Jeep, with us, them Jeep trucks. Oh yeah, the Jeep. Yeah. When they bought all of, all that shine. Oh yeah, they're coming for you. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, because Jake got. You real gotta have a nerdy, scared. He the Mike, who nervous and scared as hell, and he gonna be trigger happy. Oh, ready to blast it. Right, because he's so scared. So, right. Matter of fact, he might blast and then and now make his announcement. IRS. After he done implemented right. clip. <laughs> Time. Go ahead, brother. Uh, come on. This is uh, verse 3. It says, And I will gather the remnant out of my flock, out of all the countries where I have driven them, and will bring them again to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase. So that's separation. He said he's going to drive the remnant out of his flock. He says, How you you a remnant if you just somebody else? All right? We, we, we talk every week. We talk almost every lesson about how, how people are scattered among the heathen. So he's gonna draw people out of those heathen. You know, was my man one of those people? I, I'm kind of thinking not, but then again, he said a lot of stuff yeah. that's just not typical of a Edomite yeah. to say. And he studies. You know, and he actually studies and reads. And Esau don't do that, man. Oh. It says verse four, and I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, oh. neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. You know, and, and that's what the Lord is doing. Hey, the real shepherds are set up feeding the, the Lord's people with that knowledge, wisdom, understanding, that truth, you know? God, and a lot of people are having a hard time with it, man. And just to touch on that big money lump situation the brother brought up, I think it was Israel and over in like China, they put like certain restrictions on the amount of money that you can take out, you know? Yeah, well, those countries are gonna have bank, uh, run on the banks too. That's what they call it when um, the banks ain't got enough money to get the people, man. Yeah. And, and, and oh, you put up a video, anything over a thousand dollars, it's going to be like valueless, they said? Yeah, anything you have. I mean, basically, what, what the warning is is that you can have 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 100,000, 200,000, uh, 2, 2 million. 
if you, if you don't have that that uh that, that mo to the tv all right to, to to work to make this whole digital thing work you the, any money you pull out and have on hand they're gonna you know because you know, for, for years we all been saying keep some cash on hand for when them days come mm -hmm. they gonna they gonna you know you it's gonna be worthless it's gonna be worthless man so then, and if that be so, then these people really gonna act up. Right. Sleepy Joe, a motherfucker, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at All right? Look, look. And he signed that bill back in, in March. Why everybody just found it Sorry, out over right this right last now. couple weeks? Trump, Trump. Right. You know? He signed that bill way back in March, man, or that executive order. God, hey, just got done. Oh, yeah. Read that book. God. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, it's a 3,300 page. Right, right. Damn. Yeah, yeah exactly. A million words but per it, page. But it's section four is right where it was. That's where the main point at. What is a lot of jargon. Hey, well, you know what? When, 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 um, when Barack Obama signed in the NDAA Act, it was the same thing. You, you didn't get to the nitty gritty oh, until, yeah, yeah. you know, hey, like a thousand, a thousand, it was like a thousand. Page 1000 and something talked about right. the MO to the TV. Right. All right? So the same thing. You know, they make, they'll make this long, drawn out thing, stack, you know, this book, boom, and set it down. Oh, and the part, right, the whole manifesto and the part that you really need to see, the most important part, you know, you, you got to be 10, 15, 20 hours in the read before you even get it. And they know the average person is not going to do that. Uh, Didn't George Bush, Bush hand him a piece of paperwork yeah. like that after 9-11? Uh, he had passed one. What was that law they had passed? Um, well, the Patriot Act. Patriot Act. I'm Patriot. sure it was thick as hell, oh, too. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody read that shit. <laughs> they just signed <laughs> off on that shit. Well, what about the CIA? When they classified them, uh, have a, give you a whole manifesto and half the shit is marked off. Yeah. Marked yeah. off, yeah. yeah. You don't even know what oh, it is. Classified. 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 This is definitely, man. Wow. Wow. And this is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk down to go into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and trust in the shadow of Egypt. And that's what these two have been doing all along, man. All right, you know? Trusting in the shadow of Egypt, man. Trusting in this uh, uh, this monetized system, man. All right. Trusting in you know uh, the safety of you know 911, so forth and so on, man. All right. Trusting in AA. Just the whole idea, all right, of this American dream, man. All right. But here it is, you know, like the elder and these brothers getting into, you know, AA. Hey, your money is about to be uh, taken away, man. Are right, you about to be uh, forced with this MO to the TV, man? All right, and hey, everything that you thought, all right, that this country stands still behind, all right, it's about to be shattered right before your eyes, man. All right, and it continues to say, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. Yeah. All right, you know, and that's what's about to happen, man. A lot of these people about to be walking around here in gross darkness, man, confused. All right, you and know. Full of yeah, brother. And Esau don't take disappointment like that well, right, at all. Because, uh, you know, Esau get fired or lose something, man. You know, he go straight home and get his thing thing. And he come back. He, he go back to work. And, right, and if you at work, you know, when he when he come back, you getting it too. You know, that's how that's how Esau get down, man. You know, and, and then it's gonna, also it's going to be... It's gonna be a lot of uh, so, you know. There's tons of suicides even now, right. to this day. And then, and that, and that probably will bring another shutdown. And these businesses are like, we're not shutting down again. They won't survive another shutdown. All right. So, you know, uh, uh, and now, and now the fact that this has been this act, this act, it has been signed. Unless they stop it and don't do it December 13th, if they actually gonna stick to it, man, you can expect some very tumultuous times. Right. Uh, starting now until that day, man. And so they just can't wait until the week before. Mm -hmm. They gonna every shit, shit going prices are gonna shoot sky high. And I'm believing it's gonna be right after the summer ends, right by right the time these kids get ready to go back to school. Yeah. That's when they gonna they gonna start doing this this stuff, man. A lot of these kids not even gonna be at school, so you know, a lot of people not gonna be going to work, man. All this shit is about to happen, man. And this hey, the water you how about shit was shot. We've been we've been waiting so patiently, suffering, waiting for this to happen, man. You know, we're the only people on the planet that's looking forward to this because we know what comes after it. Well, you, know, you got one? Yeah. Bring it out, bro. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 24, verse 10. The city of confusion is broken down. Yeah. Every house is shut up that no man may can come in. And that goes into another lockdown like the other was going into. Another lockdown is coming, especially children and these, and these school people, man, about to go back to school. 
and not knowing that, you know, soon later these kids gonna be back in the crib, man, being homeschooled again due to another lockdown. So you're gonna be home, be at home, trying to figure out where their next meal coming from. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the right. family most definitely is coming. Cause, uh, uh, cause uh, uh, Walmart has, sh uh, China has shut down its factories. They ain't making a lot of shit, all right? Walmarts are going under. Walmarts are firing and letting people go. Walmart is the number one place where people work in America and where people shop. All right, and Walmart's are, uh, and basically Walmart's are getting ready to be turned into internment camps. Yeah. All right, the brother in Colorado was putting up the guard yeah. towers in an old Walmart. He was putting the electrical in it. Yeah. All right, the brother in the Denver camp, mm. the head of the Denver camp. If I may say, others like they like all this shit in Walmart too is like rope, rope, straight robots. It's okay. like a different format in there too. It's certain stores too. And I know y'all brothers remember a few years ago, solid four five years ago, they ordered a whole bunch of guillotines. Man. And what happened then? They just put yeah. them up. Uh, out, out uh, nowhere for nothing. Yeah, I think that was 2015. I think God. they owed 30 they some, 30 some thousand uh, mm -hmm. guillotines in America. Mm -hmm. So yeah, right. And why? So they could kill you quickly and, and harvest your organs if you're healthy. God. But because you know a big portion of the people that you know that that uh, uh that, that took the jump shot. Yeah, they don't want that. They they don't want them. No. All right. They want the people who did. Yep. All right. This book of. Isaiah chapter 24, verse 11. There is a cry for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. So, you know, in times of man, this, this, the mirth of this land is already gone, man. Already gone. You know, it just the, it just the majority of the people don't see it, man. You know, especially our people, they still blinded by the bread and circus. <laughs> they still blinded by the cop out, the cop out, at the cop out on the news. They were looking forward to football. They're looking forward to even the World Series, you know, basketball season, you know. You know, what happened to Deshaun Watson, you know? What happened to R. Kelly? You know, things of that sort, man. They let the, the God of this world blind the minds of them, man. And you, you know, know what, brother? They so they so hypocritical with 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 that with that whole R. Kelly thing. Because I just watched the whole video where this guy with a bald face, with a bald head and a beard and a dress. Uh was talking about minor attractive children. Oh, you yes. and then, and this is the new agenda that they're pushing. Yeah, uh -huh. So I'm like, well, if this is the agenda that you're pushing, that you're doing, then why is R. Kelly locked up for being with, with girls who, who who are not okay. minors right, right. or who are not uh, 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 or who are not uh, uh, little children? You know, it's, it is, it's insane. Girls who've actually passed the flower of their age, huh. you know, who who actually have reached their period. You know, and, and some of them in some states, depending on where you work, well, actually, you know, they could they could be married. So, you know, quote unquote. And their parents right? gay. Too. And their yeah, parents and their parents, you know, were down with it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's it's just it's just hypocritical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. is all I'm saying. We get ready to wrap it up, brother. But the thing is, got. man, you know, they they but they want to they but they want to you know put this pedophilia and then you know in this in this LGBT crap though they promote that, but they don't want. This man to mess with women, you know, who passed who passed the flower of their age, though, right? That that make that don't make any sense, man. That's why this place needs to be destroyed because that's an unrighteous decree, man. Straight up. Well, you know what it is, too, brother. When it comes down to it, they 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 know that that they we could, you know, if, if they allowed that to happen, that Jake, as fertile as Jake was, we would just completely outbreed them beyond numbers that they can control. That's what this whole depopulation, the foods and drugs. And, and things that are targeted at, at our DNA and that whole sort of thing. You know, they're always saying these diseases that start with other people, you know, all of a sudden, uh, black and brown people are the, uh, the ones who are most in danger. It's like, hold on, man, this was with animals and gay guys. How did it jump to, you know, you know how it jumped to children and then jump to the, the so-called black and brown community? You know, how did it just make that jump? You know, so, you know, these people just, Hey, look, they're your enemies. They hate Jacob, man. All right? And, and they're going to do whatever they can to try and uh, keep Jacob from being prospered. You know, from, prosper, from prospering in any way, form, or fashion. All right? This is uh, Revelations 14 and 12. It says, here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Yahweh Shah. Like the brother's been getting into this whole time, you know, this is a, this is the, this is what we've been, uh, like Elder Malcolm said, this is what we've been patiently waiting for, man. All right, these things are, are, are coming to pass as we speak, man. All right, and Lord will, you know, hey, 
as the elder and the brothers get into low, all these things do happen between now and December uh, 13th, man. Right, because hey, we ready, to, we ready to get up out of here, man. You yes, know? we we are worn, we truly are worn out, man. They said that they were way out the Saints. We worn out, big time. You know, this uh, Sirach 16 and 13. It says the sinner shall not escape with his fools, and the patience of the godly shall not be frustrated. And hey, the Lord is confirming His word. And hey, everything that we've been praying for is going to take place through the spirit and power of y'all by Shemel Shai. That's right. You know? That's right, brother. That's right. Hey, so with that, man, we're going to give all praises, all honor and glory unto Yahweh.